Hi ladies, Alex here from London Typewriters. I'm just making a quick video to show you how to use the Remington uh, Typewriter. Uh, I won't discuss everything um, in the instruction manual uh, because I believe that you will receive a link to it shortly. But I'm just going to discuss some of the basic things and just to get you started. So, um, so when you receive the typewriter, obviously it'll be in, a, in the original uh, box case with it. Um, when we ship typewriters, we lock the carriage uh, before we ship. So the carriage is actually this part right here. And whenever you press the key, that will advance. So it is locked at the moment. So for example, if I try to use the space bar, it actually it's not, it won't move because it's locked. So to unlock the carriage, you just need to gently pull on this right-hand side knob. So once you pull it out gently, it will click. And now we'll actually release. So the carriage now is actually released. Okay, so the second thing that you need to do to actually start typing is to there's going uh, to engage the keyboard or the tie bars here. The tie bars are these uh, arms that contain the actual slugs with the um, uh, with the typeface. And there is a lever uh, right here. And when you push it out the tie bars will engage and this will be the typing position. So the last thing we'll do before actually typing is to feed the paper through. So to feed the paper through we'll just feed it into uh, this thing, in the, into this slot right here and I'm just using uh, regular standard uh, printer paper. So I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to, going to use this knob on the right side to gently feed it through. Now you might notice that the paper actually came out a bit wonky, but that's okay, uh, because there's a lever here, the paper release lever. So when you engage it by pushing it down, you will basically be able to pull on the paper. And this way, what will happen is that the paper will be, you'll be able to adjust so it's even. So once I'm done uh, balancing out the paper, I will just engage this lever again. Now you can see that the paper is gripped and it goes up and down whenever I use this of this knob. Now when typing on a typewriter you want to make sure that you use um, firm taps uh, because otherwise if you don't apply enough pressure on the keys then obviously the, the impression on the, um, on the paper won't be there. Um, so for example if I'm typing So as you can see, when you type, you want to make sure that it's always firm taps. Um, if you if you hold the keys, for example, uh, if you just type and hold the keys, that can present uh, some issues with the um, quality of the print. Uh, if you don't uh, press hard enough the keys, then obviously the impression uh, the impressions actually won't be there. Now I want to just talk about the keyboard for a minute. Uh, so look, this keyboard is very standard keyboard for a typewriter. So for example, you won't notice, so you won't notice there won't be number one um, key right here. Um, and that's because we use lowercase l for that. So when you, if you want to use number one, we just use l. And if you have a look at the paper, it, it's, uh, it kind of looks like a one. That's actually a very common trick that they used back in the day. Uh, and most typewriters, most typewriters of this age probably wouldn't have number one uh, key. On the keyboard and obviously you have the shift keys right here so for example if you want to type uh, capital letters so if you're typing somebody's name then you can just press on the shift key and that will uh, that will um, allow you to type capital letters you obviously have the backspace so the backspace key what it does it allows you to go back exactly one space now it doesn't actually erase a letter but it's useful, for example, if you want to go back and type over uh, with a different letter. So, for example, let's say I typed an O and I made a mistake and I want to go back, I want to cross it out. Then I will just um, firmly tap or press on this backspace key and then I can type X over that by crossing it out. So, let me just talk about the different settings in on the carriage and different levers. Uh, so, I'm going to actually disengage the keyboard. For a second. Um, so this lever here, this is the carriage return uh, lever, and this has two functions. The first function is to 
Uh, when you approach the end of the line, uh, you will use this lever here to slide the carriage all the way to the right. And by pulling on it, it will pull up the paper as well by one space. So for example, let's say I'm typing uh, and the bell will ring. Now the bell will indicate that that you're approaching the end of the line. And then it will stop. So now I'm going to pull up this lever and then slide it all the way to the right. So you want to make sure that you use that in kind of two motions. Now obviously there is still the opportunity to use this knob right here, the knob on the side to feed the paper through. So even um, so, if you don't like using this lever in two motions, then that's perfectly fine. You know, it's uh, um, different people have different methods. Um, but generally speaking, we like to teach uh, teach uh, aspiring typists to just use this lever all the way through, just like that. Now I'll talk through the other couple of uh, levers here. So there's a lever here. Uh, let me just take the paper out. So there's a lever here and the lever here, they're actually mirrored. So as you can see, if I, uh, if I pull on it, uh, if I pull on one, then the other is also engaged. So this lever here is for the carriage release. So when you engage it, then the carriage will float to the left freely. Now if I disengage it, then obviously it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fixed. So when you engage this lever, you want to make sure that you cannot hold the carriage with, with another finger, because otherwise if you just, if you press on it, then it slides uncontrollably to the left. Um, there is also a setting right here, uh, right, this little, this little knob, I guess, metallic, um, and this is for the uh, line spacing. So a line spacing is basically, uh, allows you to um, modify how many spaces you want to have between each lines. So if I feed the paper through, So at the moment, I believe it's set on two lines, yep. So let me just demonstrate that. So I'm going to type some H. So if I use this lever here, then I will feed the paper up. And now you can see there's two spaces between the, the H's. Now if I gently pull on this little um, uh, knob right here, and if I pull it up, now there's going to be only one space. So as I can see, uh, the spacing between these edges, the lines of these, then it's much smaller than right here. Okay, um, uh, there is also a setting here. So this basically uh, allows you to adjust. So there's a lever, here, lever right here. Uh, and this setting allows you to um, uh, to adjust whether you want the um, the carriage, uh, sorry, the platen to um, to engage in ratchet mechanism. So, for example, if you if you listen closely, every time I rotate the knob, it makes a clicking or ratchet noise. So what it does, it goes up and down by a set amount by one line. But for example, if I push on this down, now it's going to be smooth. So as you can see, there is no noise. So what this means is that you can actually adjust however much you want. So it allows you to go up and down uh, very tiny amounts. So you don't have to be, uh, so you don't have to be fixed to, for example, just going up or down one line. So you can just go up literally one or two millimeters. Now, the last thing I would like to discuss is actually uh, located at the back. So at the back, you will see uh, the mechanism for the margins. So there was going to be a rack right here, this rack that moves up and down. So what you have are these uh, left and right margins. So this is your left margin and this is your right margin. So these little tabs you can actually modify. So if you push down on them, you can actually slide them to the side. And what these control is actually the starting position and the ending position. So, for example, if you start, if you want to start towards the middle of the page, so now I will adjust it and slide it towards the middle. And the same thing here, if I want to end roughly in the middle of the page, 
I'll just slide it right here. So the typewriter will let me type only in this space. So as you can see, if I slide the carriage, if I slide the carriage to the right, it will always start So it will always start at this point where we set it. And same thing for endings. So for example, uh, previously what happened is that the bell would ring around here, but because we removed the right margin uh, closer to here, then the bell will ring actually much sooner. So as you can see now, uh, when I approach the end of the line, it actually it will, stop, um, it will stop typing and the carriage will stop um, advancing. And if you want to continue typing, that's not a problem because uh, you can you can pull on this um, this lever right here, and what this will do is will lift up the margin rack, and this will allow you to basically continue typing. So uh, previously it would let, uh, it would stop us around the here at this point, uh, but because we engaged uh, the uh, margin release. Uh, then it basically allows us to continue typing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to lock the typewriter, how to lock the carriage. Um, so uh, the first thing I will do is I will slide the carriage slightly to the right. So it's it's not exactly in the middle, but slightly to the right. Then what I will do is I will engage uh, this mechanism right here. There is this kind of lever, this, this lever right here. Uh, so this lever control is kind of controls this lever, so the, the black one. So when I engage, when I pull on this lever, what it will do will actually release the carriage. So as you can see, it's floating freely. And what I will do is I will actually, uh, at the same time, I will push in on this knob. So you might notice, so if you look right here, right all the way left, you will see that uh, this um, uh, this um, what's it called uh, this metallic pole that controls the uh, that um, fixates the platen uh, to the carriage. Uh, so when I when I push on it, it will actually poke through the other end. So I will release the carriage and I will gently slide it in the middle, and it will click. So now it's locked, and now if I try to use the space bar, you can see it's not actually tapping. So again, if I want to unlock, I will just gently pull it out. It will unlock, and I can continue typing. So I will do that again. So I will slide the carriage slightly to the right. Then I will pull on that uh, black lever. And then at the same time, I will slide the uh, right-hand side knob all the way through, and then I will let the carriage slide to the left, and I will gently give it a nudge so it, so it clicks into place. Okay, well, I hope uh, that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know, um, and have a good day. Thank you.